As Will continues to battle the crime element in his neighborhood, his relationship deepens with Uloma, and his same fighting attitude kicks in one day when she tells him devastating news. Uloma said that she had been diagnosed with stage four breast cancer and her health insurance was not adequate to cover any of the expenses that would come along with treatment. In an instant, the couple's future is in jeopardy. But Lieutenant Walker, who has spent his whole life rescuing others, does the same for Uloma. He wanted to marry her to provide her with his health insurance and his health care through being a fire lieutenant. In July of 2013, after eight years of dating and without telling anyone, Will and Uloma say their vows in a private ceremony at the courthouse. So it was kind of a second chance at love and creating that family that you're going to grow old with. I actually learned about it the next day. The discussion in the office was about Will's wedding. And I just looked at him and said, what, you got married? And big smile on his face, chest out. He was as proud as he could be. Yep, got married. Will had a timeshare and he loved the timeshare. He would take just Uloma and they would go somewhere like Portugal or some, someplace exotic. Exploring new places brings the couple even closer, but it's their shared love of family that really seals their bond. Will had been married before. Uh, he had two children with Rita, his first wife. Uloma got along well with William's ex-wife, Rita. They shared meals together and they did things together and it was a very friendly environment. The joy of Will's life are his teenage children, Christopher and Melody. He worked four jobs just to make sure that they could have, you know, the life that they deserved and really like put in the, the time and the money and care that it took to raise a family. They looked at Uloma as a second mother because they spent so much time with her and everybody seemed to get along. Will is equally loving to Yoloma's children. Will Walker was just a very kind soul. He was quite the man that would do anything for you, give you the shirt off his back if you needed it. Will was a great guy, he was a genuine person. He always had a smile, he was always laughing, he always had good things to say about people. He was a full-time firefighter and I know he became a lieutenant. He was also a paramedic. Will was on some of the most high-profile fire companies in the city at the time, where he was responding to all types of incidents where you would see death and human suffering, and he was able to process that because he was a rescuer. If someone had to be there, it was going to be him. He cared about people. You don't work in a fire or EMS service without having a love for human beings. You really don't. Will Walker was a good man. He was a good provider to his family. He was a good member of the community. His heart was kind. His soul was good. He had love, not only for, for life, but, but for strangers. He did whatever he could to rescue people, to save people. That's what Will was. The police spoke to co-workers to find out if there's anything that they could tell them about anything that was going wrong in, in Lieutenant Walker's life prior to the murder. It was brought up that William had an altercation with a car dealer down in Columbus. Uloma and he had just bought new Volkswagens that they were going to use for their retirement when they moved out to Madison. And there was a very loud conversation where Lieutenant Walker believed that he had been defrauded. Will had put $10,000 down towards a car. And that car ended up getting lost in shipment. Somewhere it sounded like a scam. A mutual friend 
and 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 Will were teaching together one night and and Will had said I have to leave previously Will had discussed with that person about confronting somebody in, you know you know out front and also about a car deal so that person felt that Will got a phone call and had to go and it was over something like that Our the people in Columbus, the car dealership, are they going to come after him because he's accusing them of defrauding him? And then come to find out the next morning he was a murderer. But that was another lead that, that didn't lead to anything. Will fought it and got the $10,000 put back on to buy two new cars. Here we have different leads out there. We have different intelligence out there. All of it has to be looked at, vetted out, so that we are correct when we go after somebody and we convict somebody. We don't take it lightly. Will lived on Lamson Road, uh, on the far east side of Cleveland, northeast side of Cleveland. He would not tolerate somebody doing something wrong on the street. Will could defuse a situation no matter what. I think he thought that he could defuse all situations in our neighborhood. When he heard bad things were happening in the neighborhood, Will would reach out and try to correct those and try to make sure that the neighborhood was up and coming and thriving and not getting stuck in the rut that so many other neighborhoods can. It's the kind of guy Will was. It's, if there's a need and he can fill it, he's, he's gonna help you out. I think he wanted to protect Lampson Road from being the rougher neighborhood and, and wanted it to really be a good place. He wanted a nice, safe neighborhood for he and Uloma. He wanted a nice, safe neighborhood for his, her kids and, and for the baby. Uh, and that's just how, what Will was going to do. Will did what he thought was right. I just want everybody that didn't have an opportunity to meet him to know that a great guy was taken from us. Thank <laughs> you.